everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. Today I want to take some time to talk about what it's like to have the 2022 G42 M240i for 10 months and roughly 10,000 kilometers, so let me get into it. Alright, so as many of you know, this is my dirty Thunder Knight Metallic M240i. Uh, I love the car. I've had it now for about 10 months. I'm in the 10th month now. And uh, we are just sitting at above 10,000 kilometers. So I, I know I don't do a lot of driving compared to some of you, but uh, uh, I don't do a lot of driving, and that's actually a good thing because it keeps the mileage down. I don't use so much gas, and I can have a little bit more fun that way. But ultimately, I love everything about this car. There aren't that many things I don't like about it. Um, if I were to name a few things uh, that I don't like about the car, uh, the styling is definitely not one of them anymore. I love the way this car looks. Uh, when I first saw it, as you probably have seen in my video, when I first saw the car, I loved it. Um, it took a little bit of time to have the rear end grow on me, but now I absolutely love the rear end. I think it looks so good. And uh, another thing I really like, there's a lot of usable space, like to give you an example, tons of space in here for a two-door coupe. Also with uh, having a child, just open that up. So I know it's pretty messy back here, but one child seat in the back, it works perfectly fine. The back of the front passenger seat is rest in peace, but that's okay. Uh, everything else is okay and uh, another thing that's really cool is if I had uh, two kids I think it could still work it would just be really tight there just wouldn't be enough space in the back for everything but uh, my kid is three and at three years old this car is perfect all right so we're just in the car now I've got 10,548 kilometers so again not too much and uh, down here I have the M illuminated highlighters. Uh, initially, I thought this was kind of gimmicky, but the, now that I've lived with it for 10 months, I love it. And when I see the M240i without it, uh, it looks odd to me. <laughs> Sorry for anybody who doesn't have the M illuminated highlighters in their G42. Um, I love that they've got all this storage space down here. This storage space is great too. Um, I also love that and I know it's not on everybody's, but if you get the um, uh, the Vernoska leather with the stitching, uh, contrast stitching in blue, you get these like drift knee pads. Um, I've seen in other cars that have like the Takora red Vernoska leather, um, they don't get the knee pads. And I don't know why, um, but I'm kind of like, I love this and I didn't know that I would love it so much, but I guess all my other cars weren't. Uh, rear biased as this one was uh, the Evo was but not not my other cars <laughs> um, Wireless charging tray, so uh, I've come to d discover. I don't like it at all I know a lot of people love it or think they love it or think that they will love it if they had it, but uh, I think it's kind of gimmicky um, It doesn't it doesn't charge fast and when it is charging sometimes it it goes off the charger and then it's not charging and it doesn't tell you it's not charging and it uh, it makes the phone like 10,000 degrees Celsius so that's not good uh, another thing that I wanted to show you is uh, so what did I use for each of my program memory buttons so uh, wife's number mom's number and then this look so I've got synchronize so that will synchronize the driver and uh, passenger temp since there isn't a physical button here. So I've gone ahead and made that into a button. Uh, I don't have anything for number four. Number five, I have the energy flow. Six, trip data. Seven, driving cell analysis. So when I'm in Eco Pro, I can try and uh, maximize. And then eight is sports display. So let me just click on trip data for a second here. So uh, since refuel, 11 liters per 100 kilometers, not great. Uh, average speed 39.6 uh, 20 minutes and 59 seconds in auto start stop and 20 kilometers 20.8 kilometers in coasting yeah, as you can see this last little while I've only been in uh, comfort and eco pro but let's take a look at 
uh, value since factory. So 12.3, not horrible considering the amount of foolishness I've done with this car already. Uh, average speed 42.7. Uh, nine hours and 36 minutes in auto start stop. I can't even believe that. Uh, 359 kilometers coasted. And yeah, at the beginning, it looks like I was trying to be good and then I was being bad. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty interesting to see that. Um, another thing that I really like and I didn't realize I would like, uh, I really like the universal remote control underneath here. Um, I didn't realize how handy that would be, but now that I have it, uh, it's really good. And another thing that I had never had before, and this is kind of obvious, uh, I love the heated steering wheel. I never had one in a car before, and uh, having it in this one has been really awesome. But realistically, the best thing about this car is definitely the way that it drives. Uh, with the traction fully on, it's uh, it behaves. <laughs> uh, and in dynamic traction mode, uh, it can get really, really squirrely on the back end, um, but it's so easy to control it. I don't know how to explain it unless you try it for yourself. But if you've uh, if you've ever ever got the car to go sideways, you know exactly what it's going to do, how to keep it going sideways, and how to get it back to straight pretty easily. Uh, other cars, I've I've found it to be much much more scary. Uh, this is actually. Uh, easy and, and it makes it more fun because it inspires the confidence to do something like that um, another thing that I think is really amazing about this car and something that I didn't appreciate before is the adaptive so not the adaptive mode the adaptive suspension so the fact that you can stiffen the suspension in sport mode and uh, soften it in comfort and eco pro actually has made a huge difference for me um, and I think more so because you actually feel a huge difference uh, previously I had a Mark 7.5 Golf R and I had it in sport all the time because it didn't matter what mode I was in. It always kind of just felt the same. So, <laughs> um, but then again, I did delete my, uh, my suspension for air suspension. So, uh, I can't fully comment on that, but I did enjoy it without the air suspension for about a couple months and, uh, it didn't have as drastic of a different feeling as this suspension does, uh, with the adaptive. Um, so another thing that I have to talk to you guys about is that this car, uh, actually has to go back in January because it is a employee, uh, lease vehicle. So with that being said, um, if the car has to go back by January, I got to figure out what my next car is going to be. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think, should I get another M240i? Should I look at the M340i LCI? Um, I mean, I've, if you're wondering, oh, what about non-BMWs? No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another question that I still have to consider. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a 10-month overview of what it's like to have this vehicle. So far, it's been an absolute blast. I would not be opposed to having this car again at, at all. I love it. Uh, I also think it's probably one of the best-looking cars in our lineup right now. Um, but ultimately, uh, fuel economy has been decent. Uh, it's really my fault that it's been bad. Um, but it's also, I mean why would I buy this car and not enjoy it? <laughs> um, but ultimately, uh, I'm excited to see what the 2023 M240i looks like. I mean, if I go for that, that means I'd be losing out on all of this. Uh, climate control uh, buttons, programmable memory buttons, this gear selector, which uh, honestly, I'm going to miss this if i don't have it but if i get the m240i or the m340i they'll both have that other little gear selector um, i'm going to miss this because i actually use this to shift um i know a lot of people don't and a lot of, i know a lot of people don't shift at all but uh i do use it so that's going to be something i miss if i do get into one of these new 2023s um, i just don't know what to do yet so maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys think i should do and other than that, I think that's pretty well all I have to say. Another thing I actually wanted to say is that I don't have any type of adaptive cruise control or surround view camera. And honestly, I don't think I need it. But there are a lot of people who absolutely 
think of it as a must have and I understand that um, but for my own purposes I've found that it's not necessary for me whatsoever so I'm fine without it but I understand those who, who need it. All right let's do a little uh, remote engine start. Yeah, I was already a bit warmed up, so it wasn't that loud, but uh, I just wanted to do that anyways. I love the remote engine start. That's another feature that I never had before that I absolutely love. Um, but uh, I love also the fact that you can utilize it for both uh, summer and winter. That's really awesome. Um, I really like that. And I just want to do one more little walk around of the car. I know it's filthy. I apologize for never washing my car before I film it. But yeah, I think this car looks fantastic, and ultimately, I'll be sad to see it go, but uh, I've got to do something. So you guys let me know what you think I should do, and uh, if I go M240i, what color? If I go M340i, what color? What do you guys think? Alright guys, so that was my little video of my 10 months of ownership with the 2022 M240i. Uh, absolutely love the vehicle. Um, there's not too many bad things I can say about it. Probably the fuel economy is probably the worst one. And it's not even that bad, to be honest. It's just me that's bad. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you love the video, super thanks. See you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.